Hi, I'm Jack Hill and this is Trailers from Hell and today we're going to show the trailer for White Heat which sometimes I like to think is the last great American movie. Well, it's the last great American gangster movie that I can be sure of and I happen to know that this is one of Clint Eastwood's favorite films and I wouldn't be surprised if he would love to do a remake of this film but I'm also sure that uh, he wouldn't dare try to do the Cagney role. I can't imagine any other actor who could play this play the role that Cagney does in this movie as you'll see. I first saw White Heat when it opened in 1949 in my favorite theater, the Warner Brothers Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, Warners, they made some of the best trailers and I thought the best movies. I loved the Warner movies of the 40s, especially the crime films. They had actors like Bogart and Robinson and Betty Davis and of course the incomparable Virginia Mayo who plays opposite Cagney in White Heat. Ah, what a cast. Cagney, Mayo, and Steve Cochran, who never quite broke through as a major star, but later went on to work with the great Michelangelo Antonioni in Italy, of all things. I have a hunch that some of the best moments in the film were not used in the trailer because in those days, well, they were so bizarre that out of context the audience wouldn't know what to make of it. Like, there's a scene with Cagney sobbing in his mother's lap. Cagney, there's just nobody who could do this. What I think is, one, for example, one of, uh, I think is the most memorable scene in the movie was, was a scene where Cagney goes berserk in a prison mess hall and ends up in a straitjacket. That's when you've got to see, you've got to see this movie. It's one of a kind, unsurpassed. This movie was directed by Raoul Walsh. In those days, directors weren't the stars that we think of today. Audiences hardly even noticed their names. It was only in later years that I realized most of the movies that had the strongest influence on my own work were actually directed by Raoul Walsh. Now look at Virginia Mayo here in this scene. Cagney and Mayo deserve to get Academy Awards for this movie. If it wasn't just a just a low-budget Warner's gangster movie, they probably would have. You wouldn't kill me in cold blood, would you? Now let you warm up a little. Let him have it. Oh, no. And lose our ace in the hole? He's going to walk us out of here. Ain't you, copper? Ed. Still getting nerves. <laughs> yes, one feature of this movie that was so way ahead of its time was uh, was the violence in it. And in these days, they had the production code. They they had to be very careful about showing violence on the screen. Uh, so this was really pushing the envelope for its day. In typical Warner Brothers fashion, they the violence kind of happened off screen, but it was always done in in, in such a clever way that your imagination filled in the blanks. Uh, 